Hey there folks, welcome to day 75 of the Camper Pod build. You may remember this lovely cabinet that we made to go up here. Um, we are actually putting a light right in this open space right here. So I've got to move this wire. I think I'm just gonna move it over see if I can hold this up with my shoulder. Yeah, move it over here, run down, and come out into the cabinet here. So I'm gonna have to drill a few holes. And this wire is a little short. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do there. Hopefully I'll have enough slack on this side so that I can move the entire wiring harness over because this wire here should be actually going on the other side of this. When I get that done, I think I'm gonna be testing the wires and then maybe just checking all these ribs for anything that might be proud that I might have to uh, might have to trim down with the uh, with the plane. How deep is that? A little bit deeper. It should be fine. Should be good. Aha. Okay, perfect. So this approach works. However, I'm a little dubious about having, I, I just notched that right there. A little dubious of having like this amount of wire um, there to run a light so I'm gonna run a new uh, new circuit here I'll reuse uh, and, and this I wanted a bit long for over there so I don't have much much wiggle room here so I'm gonna run a new set of wires I'll reuse these later it's not like I'm gonna waste it uh, and so I'll have the appropriate length here. I may even give myself a little bit more length here and a little bit more length up here just to, uh, just to be safe. I'm just getting out a little tiny bit of the wire so I can uh, Test, test them to make sure that they work before we install the ceilings. Just got to go around and do this to all the wires. Oops. Bounce that went and bounced off the cardboard. There we go. I've got all the ends of the wires just trimmed a little tiny bit. Now I'm just going to test them, make sure that all the connections work, because I do have the, uh, oh goodness, these connectors right here. I forget what they're called now, splice connectors maybe? Got all those tested. Now i show you what I'm going to use. Those are all 12 volts. I'm going to use my Milwaukee 12 volt battery. And I just scratched right along the side there, like that's negative, and that's the positive side. So I have this little lead here. This is my red one, it's gonna be my positive. This other one here is gonna be my negative. I'm going to plug it into that, hook it up to each one of the mains right here, like this is here is for the kitchen. And then I'm gonna go and check the kitchen lights, which are here and here. And I'll pop in the negative terminal right there. And just to show you that it does work, I'll put that in the crook of my arm. And take the negative. I've got a light right here, I'll show you now. And, oops, blocking with my hand. Here we go. So it does work. So I've got the battery hooked up to the kitchen here. 
Let me just go check. Okay, this is the kitchen. Black on black. Okay, that one works. And this one up here. Black on black. And red. That one works. This one is the bedroom and the hall. Black on black. Touch that off to red. And it works. Here's the other bedroom. Black on black. And that works. And the final bit of the bedroom. Black on black. And that works. Perfect. Just one more circuit to test. The last circuit I tested was for the bathroom. I tested this one here, which is over the cabinet, and the one in the middle didn't work. Glad I tested it. It was this join right here with the red wire. It just actually pulled out. But now it does work. I'll show you. Uh, there we go. And touch that off the end there. Well, oh, you've seen the flash. There we go. So that actually works. So all the lights do work. I'll just tape this one back up to the ceiling again. And I'm just going to do a little bit more taping of the wires. A couple of wires, maybe put a little bit more tape on like that. And then I'm done with the electrical testing for the lights. I walked through all the joins here on the new ribs that we added. And really, the only, there's a couple of spots. There's like spot here where I might have to take a little bit off this rib with the planer. This is a little proud of this level here. And right along the bottom, those three middle ones, those are a little proud. So I'm going to take a little tiny bit off of here so it's flush with this surface down here. But other than that, it's not, it's not too bad. In addition to working on the camper today, I've been testing our new power source, the uh, All Powers S2000. Okay, that one's done. I've got all those trimmed. I also went and looked at those edges right there. Where the, see if I can get the light, there we go. Right here where they intersect with the curve. Some were a little proud, so like, uh, like this here. I just put the chisel to that just to make it an easy transition from, from uh, I guess, square to curve. And it seems to look pretty good. Well, that's a wrap for day 75 of the camper pod build. Tested all the lighting. Had to rewire a little bit there because something was a little hinky. I trimmed up all those along the bottom there just to make sure it's a nice transition and I also um, did some testing of our S2000 all powers uh, power source I was recharging out there now so that's it for today so the next piece I uh, there's nothing to do besides the ceiling and what I'm thinking is that we'll do this side first because 36 inches that's why the panel is will come to about right there just overlap and coming the other way over 36 inches it comes to, to right there to the left of my finger that's probably what we'll do and then we'll end up putting maybe a uh, piece of aluminum down the middle there just to hold it all in place and probably VHB tape. So that's to be determined. So that's it. Again, wrap for day 75. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.